Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see how to configure and set up the project structure. So in last video, just I mentioned what topics we are going to cover in the tutorial series. And here we'll start with the first video where we see how to configure and set up the project structure. Now, let's see what exactly we need to configure and set up the project. So let's see the steps to add. So first we have to create a Maven project and add the dependencies required in pom.xml file. So first create a project, add the dependencies. You know, when you are using a Maven project, basically you look for the dependencies and then you add the dependencies accordingly in pom.xml file just to get all the jar files related to the tools that we are going to use. Now here we need to create the required folder. So we create different folders basically for uh, storing the Excel files, the screenshots, or for creating the configuration file. So we create a different folder for every sections. Now we need to go to Maven repository website and search for dependencies. We need to search for the dependencies that we are going to add in Maven project. That's also needed. Now create a configuration file. Now, before creating a configuration file, you need to know what exactly the configuration file is. So a file with dot properties extension is a file extension, or it's basically dot property is a file extension. And this is for the files mainly used in Java related technologies to store the configurable parameters of an application. Configurable parameter means that details that needs to configure an application. So what type of details you will need in this case? You need to think about it. In this case, what type of applications are basically needed? So in this case, the uh, application in this case, basically you will need details like uh, app, uh, like basically the details related to like which website you are going to use, uh, the website related details, the way which you are going to test which driver you are going to use, these details. So basically these type of information you need to pass and to pass this information, we create a separate file that's called config file and with dot properties extension. Now dot property is an extension just like uh, you can say for a, a text file, you have dot txt extension, just for Excel file, you have XLS extension. Just similar to that, for configuration file, we have dot properties extension and properties is basically a class in Java that we'll use and you'll see how it's working there. Now dependencies and folders to add. Basically, these are few dependencies that you need and folders that we need to create in our project. So we need Selenium, we need TestNG, we need Web Driver Manager, Log4j, Apache POI, Extend Reports. So basically, these are the dependencies that we need. So Apache POI, for uh, the Excel files, extend report to generate the report. This library we need web driver manager. Here we are going to work with the web driver manager. Last time we did the drivers, which we added the drivers to our driver folder. And then we used to get the problem with that is every time we have to go and change the driver version based on the Google updates. So because of that, this time I thought, let's go with web driver manager. So these are different dependencies that we will go through and we need to add in our project. So now knowing that these are the things that's required to configure a project, let's go to our Eclipse and start configuring the projects. Now configuration of projects, basically when you are trying to configure a project uh, here, first you will create a, a Maven project. So how to create a Maven project? Go to file. From file, go to new option and from new, go to Maven project. Now here, click on this checkbox, create a simple project, do next. And right here, the package name, the group ID and artifact ID acts as the package name. Group ID stands for package name. Artifact ID stands for the project name. So here I will name this as e-commerce, not task. I'll give underscore or let's forget about e-commerce frameworks. Now I give the same name for group ID, same name for artifact ID, and just do finish. 
So now this e-commerce framework is built here. Now this is our pom.xml file that I was talking about. In this pom.xml file, you need to add all your dependencies. So right now I'm not going to add all my dependencies straight away. I will add dependencies based on my requirement. So at least you will know that at which point you are using which dependencies and when that dependencies are needed to add because mainly when we add the dependencies, uh, it's not known to many people in real time that which dependencies or how we'll get the dependencies or which dependencies are required at which particular phase. So right now at this phase, we are, we require only two dependencies. One is Selenium and test ng dependencies. So what I'll go, I'll go to the Maven repository website. So I search for Maven repository. This is the website. I go here and here I'll search for Selenium dash Java. Click the search button. And this is the Selenium Java. So open this. Now here, I'm not going to take the latest version. I'll take a version less than this. That is 14.18.0. And now here, copy these dependencies. And just below this, write a dependencies tag. Now you need to write this dependencies tag because all your dependencies you are going to put inside it. So in an XML file, you need these dependencies tag. And uh, basically, this is just like the way it is in HTML. We use tag here. And inside the dependencies, I will add my own dependencies of Selenium. Now, next time, I'll search for testng here. So here, I search for testng this time. Sorry, it's testng. So I search for this. Now, here, I take 7.9.0. Copy the dependencies from here and paste it here. Now, one more dependencies that we will add here is log4j. I'll tell you the uses of this log4j and what exactly the log4j is doing. So in this case, we are going to add two dependencies for log4j. Basically, this is used for logging the framework. So we'll see this. Don't worry how it's working. So first, I will go not this. It's an older version. So I'll go with the first one, Apache 4J core. Click on this. And this will take us to the Apache log 4J core. So here, I'll copy the dependencies for this Apache. Now let's open this version, copy the dependencies for this, paste it here. And the next dependencies we will add for API as well. The This one was for core and this is for API. So we'll add this one as well. Now for this as well, I'll take 2.23.1, copy these dependencies from here and just straight away paste it here. Now, one more dependencies we need to add for Selenium Web Driver Manager. So, in fact, we'll write Web Driver Manager. We need to add dependencies for this as well. So, open. See, when I'm writing this Web Driver Manager, I'm not giving spaces. If you give spaces, then it will open some other Web Driver Manager. So, keep in mind that we have to not give spaces here. Now I take this because I've taken Selenium of versions, this five point, uh, the version that was uh, like available from Feb 19. So I'm taking web driver manager of that version as well. Now I paste it. So now these are the dependencies that were required. I have copied all the dependencies, pasted it over here. Now just I will do control S and save this. So once I do this, you see a Maven dependency folder is added to our project. And in this Maven dependency folder, you will see multiple jar files adding. So that's the story of the palm.xml. And that's how we add the dependencies to our project. Now, the second thing, we need to create folders. Folders for 
basically a different folder. So here, this is the project e-commerce frameworks project. So let me create folders. So I do right click, I go to new, from new, I go to folders. Uh, from here straight away, I go to folders and I click. So I'm going to create the very first folder as test data. And in this, I'm going to store the Excel file. The second one will be for configuration. So I'll create it as configuration file. For configuration file, I'll do configuration folder. Same like this, I'll go again and I'll create a folder for log4j. Now another folder will be for screenshots. And I think I've created all the required folders. So the last one will be for screen sorts and one for drivers, but I'm not going to use those drivers here. So I'm not creating folder for that anymore. So these are certain folders that we have to create. Now, if you are going with the driver approach, then you can create folder for drivers and add the drivers accordingly. In my case, I'm not going with that approach. So I'm not creating those folders. So now I've created these folders and everything. One more thing, what you have to do here is you have to create packages. Now these are different sections. So here we'll prefer using SRC slash test slash Java. And here I'll create different packages for different uses. Like for pages, I'm going to create the package with the name as pages. For the test cases, I'll create a separate class with the name test cases. And for utilities, I'm going to create a different package with name as utilities. So you need three packages. You need uh, pages for every section. That means if I'm writing code for home page, I'll take that page pages section for that. If I'm writing code for test cases, basically the test cases related to home page, then I'll create classes for that. And the third one that is utilities where I will add the informations for the browser related, the Excel related, the listeners. So utilities means the utilities or it goes with that word, the thing that you are utilizing in your project to configure or to run your project. So here let's create three packages. The first one will be for, I'll mention it as uh, e or like I'll say, ECT, that's the website link I'm taking, ECT dot. Uh, pages. Or I'll say, I'm giving a proper name, the professional uh, way we write the names this way. So I write com dot ECT dot pages. So this will be for pages. Now, again, the next package will be com dot ECT dot test cases now these names whatever you like you can give i'm giving these type of names if you want to follow the same names it will be good for you that later when you are trying to get the path or when you are trying to get uh, uh basically when you're trying to mention the package's name you will have the same names so i would suggest that take the same name uh, that will be helpful if you are a beginner take the same name if you are an experienced person then in that case you can take any names you like so I've created three packages. Now the complete configuration of the project is done. I have added the jar files, I've created the folders, I have created the package. Now what's next? I have to start working on these sections. So in next video, we'll see how to create the configuration files and how I'll be using these packages. And I'll try to run a test case just to see the complete configuration, how the setup is done. That's all in this video. I hope you liked it. See you in next video. Stay tuned and keep watching to complete the series. Till then, bye-bye. Thank you.